Hello Hanovers and Pullovers, my name is Joseph Moore and you are you and I just came out of that hot tub and you may be hearing some Handel's Messiah. In the background today is Easter at 11 o'clock and this is a pretty late vlog considering but just wanted to say I couldn't get a video out on Sunday this week because for the most part I was traveling to DC. Um, sorry but uh, you'll get some good footage of some DC stuff that I did. Um, you're going to see me go into the Smithsonian Institute later, and then later I'll be uh, checking out the monuments on the Mall in Washington. So, uh, enjoy, I guess. Hey, yo, how's it going? I'm right in the metro, and I'm about to take, uh, well, we just exited the parking garage, and I figured that we could start our journey. It's a brilliant scene. See the cover up from here. Nice and glassy, and... Iron crossbars. Feels fresh. It's a nice fresh day. It's like crisp. It's. I mean, it'll probably warm up, and I'll probably be sweating by the end of it. But you know, it's starting out pretty nice. Just had a good breakfast today. Let's see, some good bacon and eggs. Classic meal of champions. And let's see. Yeah, that's really. Well, for now, and I'll uh, see you when we when there's more to see. Look, train. There's a train down there. You might not be able to see it. Uh, it's right under there. Okay, you probably saw it. Oh, uh, I gotta get back. Uh, I'll see you later. Hey guys, I'm right here in front of the Smithsonian American Native American History Museum. And I love how they just let all the wild the... sage grass grow around it. Oh yeah, that See is cool. See how they got all wild grasses growing here. Okay, so from what I hear, this is the newest addition to the Smithsonian. And uh, I really like the architecture, it's different. It's all sandstony. Million beads adorn this buggy. That's pretty impressive. Garden, and this is a red horse behind me. If you look at the shadow, it looks like a horse. Not particularly, but it's, uh, you, have, you have to squint to see that it's a horse. You gotta squint. This is a house, and I guess its perspective kind of follows you around. Oh, it's, it's like protruding inward for me. It's an optical illusion. Let's see it from the side. tree it is in its essence a tree made out of metal and it's shiny and it's a tree made of metal it's not made of wood like normal trees it's made of metal so that's the entire point of it it's a tree right in front of me is the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History one of the largest museums in the world and there's a lot of stuff in it, I don't think we'll get to all of it today. But this is an absolutely massive building. And that's... Right here is a rhinoceros at Teddy Roosevelt shop. Alright, these are all uh, models of 
of fossils that we found various parts of the world. Uh, ancestors, I guess, most of them. Some of them are branches. Uh, it's all part of the human family tree, though. This is the Hope Diamond. It is a chunk of blue carbon. Fascinating. This thing's really crazy. It's a giant sheet of copper. This is natural copper found in Michigan. Look at that. You can make a lot of pennies out of this thing. Yep. That's for sure. Really? Oh, we have the statistic? 2.5 million pennies. Because of uh, the way internal reflection works, the angle at which a diamond is cut is very important. It produces a, uh, a glimmer. You, know, you can kind of see it in the lens right there. You can see the rainbow pattern produced by the diamond on the screen. As that light goes into the diamond, it's reflected off the back surface. Um, that's why you see a diamond sparkle. Dinosaur bones. Stegosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Tyrannosaurus rex. Yeah, you know them. Yeah, I watched a lot of them at the time when I was a kid, so I consider myself an expert on dinosaurs like this. Yep. So, yeah, I'm leaving here right now to give you a last glimpse. Uh, I actually want to check out the aquatic life before we leave, and then we're going to go head over to uh, Washington Monument. Ought to be fun. Here's some old marine life. These are uh, mollusks or something like that. They kind of look like squids, except they have shells. Sea turtle. That looks really cool. People messing around. You want to see the bones, I know. Look at that big fierce thing. It's like a snake. <laughs> that is ferocious. Almost seems like a mammal right here with the legs. Oh, it is a mammal. Seals, sea lions, and walruses. Aquatic mammals. Apparently these mammals thought, you know, they were too good for the land and they decided to go back to the ocean. Whoa. Whoa, that thing's big. What's that? That thing is big. I would not want to meet one of these, whatever it is. Edantates, South American immigrants. So they're basically Mexicans. It's kind of like an anteater, except friggin' huge. Maybe it's like a badger. Crap. Mammoth. Look at those tusks. Ferocious. Yeah. Those huge things that you saw earlier, they were apparently sloths. Frickin' A. Oh <gasps> it's a... What is this? This is a huge bird. Big beak. I'm thinking a dodo. Uh... It's an Ocene's... Ocene. Look at this thing. This thing's ridiculous. It doesn't even have any arms. Its arms are like fused in the inside of its body. What's the point of that? Holy crap. This thing looks like something out of a video game. That's crazy. Castle right across the way. The Smithsonian Castle. I want to go there, but apparently we're going over to the Washington Monument right over there behind that tree. How's it going? I got a Washington Monument behind me, and I'm walking away from it. Got towards the uh, Lincoln Memorial in front of the Reflecting Pool. Quite a historic spot, and it's the place where Martin Luther King delivered his I Have a Dream speech, and this is right uh, a lot of stuff happens in the mall. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had the rally to restore sanity and North Pier. Put on by the great John Stewart. 
and Stephen Colbert and are actually here in the Lincoln Memorial. It actually exists. That's good to know. Here, I was always thinking that it was just a figment of my imagination or a government conspiracy. One of the two. Anyway, here's our famous statue of Abraham Lincoln appearing up in the distance. Yeah, we're gonna slowly rise up these stairs. There's a couple of stairs. There you go, there's your statue of him. That little statue, it's crazy. It's actually pretty well emulated his uh, cloak with stone. It's rather daily. Hey ho guys, we are concluding our trip for the first day. Uh, looking at my memorials. We're crossing over the bridge. Arlington Bridge going over the Potomac River. Uh, right up, oh, oh, there's a, a three pronged monument over there. I think that's the Air Force Monument. Uh, it's really windy right now, in case you can't tell. Um, you probably can. Either from my hair or the general microphone ness of it. Uh, the wind in the microphone. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm just in here with my uh, good buddy Abe Lincoln. Uh, we were just discussing uh, politics and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, we were talking about oil subsidies actually. So, uh, just a quick fill in. Uh, yesterday uh, we went to DC again, uh, but I forgot to bring my camera, so uh, I'll just tell you what we did. Uh, we went to see some monuments, JF. Uh, sorry, MLK. Uh, we saw the Franklin uh, Roosevelt Monument. Uh, that one's actually really neat. It's like a long strip with uh, some water features and a bunch of quotes. It's really cool. Uh, the MLK Memorial is really neat. And really, they were just doing a lot of construction. Uh, we tried to see the National Archives, but the line was really insanely long and it was getting late uh, so we just decided to stop by see the Capitol building and White House see the sites uh, right, we'll pro I'll probably see go there later not like soon though probably maybe during the summer uh, let's see uh, right now uh, we're heading back to uh, New York it's gonna be fun I'm gonna put up this video uh, afterwards and uh, well, I, we're starting my Gettysburg. Uh, this is where I am right now. Uh, this is Gettysburg. This is the site of the famous Civil War battle, and I guess that's why they have Abe Lincoln right here. He gave his famous speech, uh, the quote of which is actually in Lincoln Memorial. Fun fact, Lincoln is not buried in the Lincoln Memorial. Um, I already knew this. He's buried in Springfield, Illinois, but it's a common misconception uh, uh, that people have. Very few presidents are actually buried at memorials. In fact, I don't think any are. Uh, so, yeah. I guess I'll see you when I return back. And uh, actually, there's some people who want to take a picture of the statue. So I 